Wouldn't it be cool if there was a logical progression for deploying any KM approach? First, maybe you select and deploy a desired KM tool or approach you want to implement. This could range from simply turning on a feature within an existing software suite to buying new capability or forming groups. It could be a discussion forum, a wiki. You could form a community of practice or several. You could introduce forms of social media like FaceSpace or Yakker or whatever. You could pick any of these or several of these. Next, you'd probably collect data to observe what's happening with a newly deployed tool. Some of these items might be metrics used to gauge success. You just need to collect some stats. Are people using it? How many people are using it? Are there groups that aren't using it? Do people like it or dislike it? What else should you measure? And after obtaining these raw metrics, you move on to another step. You need to conduct a little analysis and see if any patterns are emerging. What do the stats or metrics indicate? How well is the tool being used? Can we measure any value added? Are we saving time, money? Are we earning money? Are we speeding time to competency? What success stories are coming out of the tool usage? Are there user complaints and praises regarding the tool? Next, you might think, well, we've done some basic data analysis and we've looked at the metrics. Maybe we should think about this for a little while and do some objective, critical thinking. So you take your fabulous insight and judgment and you look over the results to date. Is the KM tool really adding value? Is it doing what it's supposed to do? Are there additional benefits we didn't anticipate? Are there unintended consequences? What kind of patterns and trends are emerging? What do they tell us? What can we do to increase usage or enhance the approach? Can we conduct training to help people use the tool more effectively? In areas where it's underutilized, can we do something to help? Can we address any user complaints? Do we need better tools in order to allow us to better analyze the value that this tool might be adding? Should we even continue to use the tool, or should we simply start over with another choice? Well, after objectively and critically reviewing the data, trends, patterns, and outcomes of using the tool, you either go back to step one and redeploy with the changes your analysis and judgment indicated are needed, or you move forward to step five and you report the fabulous results of the deployment to the business. And you say, look how much time we saved you people. Look how much money we saved the company. Look how much money we earned for the company. And while you're there standing, what if the business looks back at you and says, well, that's great, but we we're actually looking to add more value in a different direction. Oh, bummer. Back to the drawing board. But wait, what if instead of step one being deployment of a KM tool, step one was really to understand what's driving the business? What if it looked more like this? Step one is understand the business drivers. You know, business landscapes do have a way of changing. So what is the business focus for the near term? What are the business metrics to meet this year? Or perhaps there's a long-term strategy for which a CAM approach would be a critical success factor. Then, step two might look more like, let's align our CAM strategy and any associated investments with the business strategy. Now, CAM will enable where the business wants to go and add the kind of specific value the business is looking for. In between steps one and two, we might apply a little bit of the scientific method and develop a hypothesis. That hypothesis might be, if we implement this particular KM approach out of all the choices, we're most likely to line up with the business focus best. Then, after ensuring this strategic alignment, you proceed to the old step one, which has now become step three. Then steps three, four, and five, and six become an iterative little loop until you obtain results and see how well they match your expected outcomes. And we'll call this little four-step loop a process within a process, and we'll, we'll call it the KM program feedback loop. At the end of the scientific method, we usually draw conclusions. In this case, it's 
Did the CAM approaches we implemented help the business achieve the desired goals? And quantify that alignment with business objectives. Now, whether that's a yes or a no, let's go back to the beginning, all the way to step one, and ensure our CAM approaches continue to be aligned with business objectives. Thus, the circle of life continues on for our knowledge management approaches. This entire process is something we've lovingly come to call knowledge analytics. In fact, we like it so much, we service marked it. And what if we added knowledge analytics to the other areas often considered when applying business analytics to decision making, such as workforce analytics, social analytics, supplier analytics, etc., etc. And this addition of knowledge analytics improved the quality of business decisions. Wouldn't that be cool?